So, we are talking about the third um, Newton's Law, okay? Last week we talked about the first law and the second law. The first law was about inertia. And I gave you that example of like me and the Hulk pushing each other over. Okay, he has more inertia because he is heavier, pretty much. Okay, and then our second Newton's Law was F equals MA. Okay, we worked on that equation um, three days last week, I believe. Okay. And that is just saying that whenever there is a net force, there's going to be some sort of acceleration, okay? And um, a concept from that is that any problem that you did for F equals MA and your net force was zero, your acceleration was zero. So if there's no net force, there's no acceleration, okay? If your net force was anything but zero, you had to calculate acceleration and it gave you an acceleration, okay? So Newton's second law just says that anytime there's a net force, there's gonna be some sort of acceleration, okay? Today, for the first time, we are gonna be talking about Newton's third law of motion, um, and it's gonna be talking about equal and opposite forces, okay? So let's go ahead and fill this in as we go. Um, action, reaction up here at the top. Newton's third law says that for every action, for every action, There is an equal and opposite reaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Um, we just watched a video and he said, you sitting in your chair, okay, there's gravity acting upon you. If there wasn't an equal and opposite reaction, you would fall through the floor because gravity would be the only force affecting you, okay? But the force that's equal and opposite to gravity is called what? Starts with an N. Normal force, okay? Because of that equal and opposite normal force of the floor and the chair pushing back on you, you're sitting still instead of falling through the floor, okay? So um, this is Newton's third law in a nutshell. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So let's see what that's going to mean um, in different situations. All right. Am I missing a part of it up there? Okay. Um, my blanks are gone up there, but we're going to fill this out the best that we can. Okay. I will draw it over here to the side. So these arrows right here. Looks something like this. Whoa. Okay, and then it says forces are, and I think this is a blank that you have to fill in. Is that looking familiar to you guys? Equal in magnitude. but act in opposite directions. Okay, so this is those arrows that are right up there. This would be the action arrow and this is the reaction arrow. Sorry that that's cut off up there. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so make sure you fill in this top blank. Forces are equal in magnitude, um, but act in opposite directions, and then you're also writing in those arrows. Make sure you fill that in up there. Okay, so let's talk about this really quick. So um, in the actual pictures, these arrows are the same size, okay? Does anybody know what magnitude means whenever it says they're equal in magnitude? It's kind of like power, okay? They have equal strength. All right, that's what that's saying right there. So forces are going to be equal in power, okay, and they act in opposite directions. That's all that that's showing you there with those arrows being the same size, okay? Uh, moving on down to these circles, we have our um, force going towards the right. We have a force going to the left, our A force and our B force. So this is showing two things that are going to collide, okay? 
And with Newton's third law, we say that there is an equal and opposite force. So if A collides into B, B is going to reciprocate that same force. Okay, that's all that Newton's law is trying to show us. We're going to make um, this AB right here stands for, let me figure out, object A force on object B. Okay, so this subscript AB just stands for the object A's force on object B. And then obviously this stands for the other way, um, object B's force on object A. Okay, just another way of showing you that these arrows are the same length, they have the same magnitude, equal and opposite forces. Okay, so this right here is going to put into a sentence what this picture is saying. Okay, if object A exerts a force on object B, then object B exerts a force of equal strength. in the opposite direction of A. Opposite direction of object A. Okay, Newton's third law, once again. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if the action is A hitting B, okay, with a certain amount of force, B is going to reciprocate that with the same amount of strength, but in the opposite direction, okay? Where A is going to the right, B is going to be your force to the left, all right? And they are equal um, and opposite. That's all you got to know for Newton's third law, okay? So now what we want to do is in the um, boxes on the right, those three boxes, we are going to look at those different situations and label the forces involved. Action and reaction pairs is what they're called. Is everybody good on this? All right, let's look at these three box boxes. Okay, so what we're gonna do in each of these situations is identify the two forces that are equal and opposite of each other, okay? So, we have this rocket, and you see these two arrows right here? Okay, they're equal and opposite. Obviously opposite, because one is pointing up, one is pointing down. The up force is um, the rocket pushed upwards. Okay, so this rocket launches and it has a force that's going to shoot that rocket upwards. In this rocket situation, what is going to be shooting down opposite of that upwards force? If you think about a rocket, what do you see whenever it launches? Everybody watch a, a launching video? There's a bunch of smoke involved and things like that. Okay. So it takes a bunch of fuel to get this rocket off the ground and into orbit. So the opposite force of that rocket shooting off, okay, that opposite force is provided by um, spent fuel being ejected downwards. Okay, spent fuel ejected downwards. So that fuel it takes to launch that rocket upwards gets ejected and that's where you see all of the smoke billowing and things like that whenever um, a rocket launches or something like that. If you have not seen a launching video, I recommend that you go and Google it. Ok, 
Okay, so the action force is the rocket shooting upward. The reaction force, that's equal and opposite, is that fuel getting ejected. Okay, in this second picture here, we have somebody kicking a soccer ball. Okay, what kind of motion is going to happen here? What is going to happen to that soccer ball whenever that toe makes contact with it? It's going to go flying forwards. Okay, so at this angle, this soccer ball, we're going to draw this arrow. This soccer ball is going to go that direction. Okay? So the soccer ball goes flying. The opposite direction is going to be this foot after it hits the soccer ball. So we want to draw it opposite of that arrow. It's going to be going this direction. So there's my arrows, okay? They're opposite of each other. They're equal. They are showing Newton's third law. Now let's describe what's going on. We know that for this one, the ball is getting kicked forward. And for this arrow over here, I'm going to draw it in this section. Um, your foot is going to slow down. Foot slows down by ball. We'll put slowed down by ball so that it makes more sense. Foot slowed down by the ball. Okay, so the action force is this ball is going to be kicked forward and the reaction force is your foot's going to slow down after it makes contact with that soccer ball. Okay, equal and opposite forces. Okay, in this third box, we have, um, looks like some sort of tea party and there's some food and things resting on a table. Okay, so let's talk about the action and reaction forces that are happening here. All right, so we know that these things have some weight to them. All right, so they're going to be pushing down on the table. Food pushing down on the table. We would say if we were drawing like a free body diagram, that would be the gravitational force. What is stopping that stuff from falling down on the ground? What's holding it up? The table, right? Okay. That table, as much as that food is pushing down, that table is equally and oppositely pushing up. Okay. So we are going to have this up arrow here. Table pushing up. Sounds like it. Okay, so what you're going to be expected to do, we do have a little bit of notes to do before we move on. But in these situations, we identified the equal and opposite forces. That's what you're going to have to do, like, on the test next week. Okay? And you're going to get practice of doing that after our notes today. Um, but the whole goal of Newton's third law is that there's an equal and opposite force on basically everything. Okay? So, let's move right along, fill in this last portion of notes. Alright, so, Newton's third law is also sometimes called the law of action and reaction. Okay, so if you hear me say law of action and reaction, I'm talking about Newton's third law. Okay? It sounds super, super similar. Um, in every interaction, so in any interaction, interaction that occurs, okay, you kicking a soccer ball, you sitting in your desk, all right, that rocket launching, in every interaction that occurs, um, forces occur in pairs, and that pair is an action and reaction force. And these two 
forces act in opposite directions. We've talked about this already. With equal strength. In every interaction, forces occur in pairs. There's an action and a reaction, okay? That's the pair. These two forces act in opposite directions with equal strengths, which is what we've been talking about the entirety of, of this note sheet, okay? So now it says your turn. If you were wearing roller skates and pushed against the wall, what would happen? Okay, so let's draw, um, here is the floor, and here is my wall, um, and this is me on some roller skates and then I'm going to be pushing against that wall man it looks like I'm about to do the splits I am not an artist you guys but that's okay okay so let's draw arrows that represents the forces that we're going to be doing. Okay? So I have an arrow going to the right. And that is me pushing wall. Okay? So I'm sitting here and I'm going to, my forces go in that direction. Okay? That's the direction that I'm pushing. Okay? What's going to happen to me when I push against that wall? I'm going to go this way. Okay? Obviously the wall isn't going to move. Right? but it's going to cause me to move. So whenever I push against that wall, I'm going to have an equal and opposite reaction, and that's going to be me, well, I'm sliding backwards, but the wall pushing me back. Okay, so that's our equal and opposite forces that we've been talking about. Okay, in terms of action and reaction, this pairs that we've been talking about, the action is me pushing that wall. Okay, I did that action. The reaction is me rolling this direction because of what the wall did to me. Okay, equal and opposite forces, I pushed on the wall, the wall pushed back, so now I am rolling backwards. Does that make sense, everybody? It's kind of abstract and it's kind of like a big idea to think about. But um, the more we have these conversations and look at these different situations, I think you're going to get the hang of it. Okay?